Hi, welcome back to Unschoolers Chat. <laughs> we're, we're trying to think of a name for our show, so guys, give us some some ideas. We're thinking of really funny. We, we had came up with word to the third because there's three of us, but you know, what are some other ones we came up you with? You said fondue for two of us. <laughs> <Fondue. laughs> there's three of us. We're having a lot of fun with this whole concept. I, we got to do like a bloopers behind the scenes because you guys would really get a kick out of how goofy we could be, but. Uh, Okay, so we are here talking about, you know, common questions that people have for unschoolers. <coughs> and one of the most, well, there's a couple of really focused common questions. And one of them is about food, unschooling food. People think that if kids have freedom to choose what they want to eat, that you guys will be eating, what was it, Twinkies? Is that what mm -hmm. Jeff Pro said? Uh, you don't even make those anymore. <laughs> yeah. How could I possibly eat them? Could I go so, back in time and eat Twinkies? <laughs> Maybe. So, okay, so you guys don't eat Twinkies or whatever the no. new, new name for Twinkies is. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to eat paleo, which is uh, like the caveman's diet, like nothing processed. Uh, but you know, you already know. That. Yeah, but I'm why? Like, yeah, like why well, Why do you make that decision? I don't know, it's a lot healthier. I don't want to Did be... I fear you into it or guilt you into it? Or... Yes! No. <laughs> um, uh, no, I just wanted to eat healthier. Seems healthy. Get stronger. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you were motivated by your interest and passion for free running. Yeah. And, you know, you really wanted to learn how to be more flexible and be more in shape for that. And mm -hmm. I can remember that's what kind of sparked your interest in yeah. researching yeah. diet. And um, It's not yeah. diet, it's eating healthy. Well, mm -hmm. a diet. Yeah, that's, yeah, I know what you mean. I don't mean like on a diet, but... Um, and I was a raw foodist for a year. And that inspired, I think, just, I was so interested in food and healthy eating, and um, it really inspired my friends and my kids to eat better. But even prior to that, prior to, you know, me doing the raw food thing and you decided to be paleo, even before then, I never remember you eating, like, stuff that other people would consider unhealthy, like, constantly. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. You did breastfeed until you were four and a half, and then pretty much drank milk. I can't remember after that and eating bread and... Didn't I eat a lot of... Like, I went through phases of eating, of drinking chocolate milk and strawberry milk, <laughs> like, like year phases of yeah. it. Yeah, and there was a lot of time where you ate, you know, early on, where you ate peanut butter and jelly a lot. Yeah, I, I can remember oh, that. I want one right now. I know. <laughs> Have you... What's your experience been with, like, food choices? Um, I've been able to eat anything I want to eat when I want to eat it, but I don't know. I like trying a lot of new foods, so... I don't know. I eat like anything and everything. Like if someone puts it in front of me, I will try it. So mm -hmm. yeah, anything. And like for the past week, all I've been eating is like smoothies because I just really love smoothies. Oh, but yeah. I know. Right? You're making me so hungry. I, I want know. Food. <laughs> food sounds good. <laughs> you guys just had dinner. My gosh. I know. Your teens. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I think that people just assume that you're going to that kids, if given the freedom, would just eat. You know, Hershey bars all day and bags of chips. And yeah, I love candy, but I don't like just eat it all day. Well, yeah. just like an adult. Yeah. But, you know, we, at, me as an adult, I don't sit there just because I have the freedom to and eat stuff like that yeah, all since day. Yeah, I was long. a baby, I could. So it's not like, it's not like hidden away from me. I have it all the time. And that's where people don't really understand because most people are basing their idea that kids are going to make bad choices based on when people are in a situation where they do control children's food and they limit cookies and you can have one and you can have this or only when you finish this and. Once all you're an that, adult and you're allowed to, and it's like, that, oh, yeah, right. That's, that's probably why this country is so obese, yeah. you know. I mean, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. It all has to do with control. So much has to do with control, yeah. like over controlling other people. I've seen it time and time again. So I've never seen an um, obese unschooler, which is really interesting. It's true. Now mm -hmm. that I think about yeah. it, yeah. And I mean, like hundreds and hundreds of thousands. Kids. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a lot of unschoolers. Yeah. So when, when kids have a you know, freedom in their lives and trust. They make choices that are really balanced and healthy. Gen, well, you know, a lot of my friends are extremely athletic. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, we all go through phases, both as an adult and child, where we get kind of stuck on one food and we just like eat it, eat it, eat it a lot. And yeah. like used to do that. Yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah. So food freedom, would you guys say, is really important? Oh uh, yeah. Yes, definitely. So what about um? The other big question is bedtime. <laughs> Have you guys ever had bedtimes? No. Well, like not by you, but I, like nowadays, I'm telling you to wake me up. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, I you're like time. my alarm clock now. Mm -hmm. I always send you a Facebook message at like two in the morning. Wake me up at eight. 
Yeah. Right, because you have, well, that's really interesting because people have commented, you know, after seeing the Jeff Probe show that, um, how is your child ever going to, you know, wake up and be disciplined enough to wake up to go work at a job, for example. Mm -hmm. When a person's internally motivated, they make these decisions because they want to be somewhere. So because you want to be working in the forest on your shelter and what you're doing out there, you, you're you really I've learned driven. a lot. It from looks it. really cool. Yeah. Fr it's from what? Oh, you're welcome. I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> well, from what? You've learned a lot from what? I just want you to... Just like, I don't know, common skills, like knot tying, I don't know, like a billion knots now when I did it two weeks ago. Oh, I thought so. you meant like having to do with what you learned a lot with me waking you up. Forget it. Oh. Mm. Oh, I thought you meant... <clears throat> I'm sorry. Just the food. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think when children are able to go to bed when they're tired mm -hmm. and wake up when they're rested, I think that's yeah. the healthiest way for a human to live. I mean, mm -hmm. being woken up by somebody else when you're still tired yeah. is mm -hmm. not very healthy. Your body needs a certain amount of sleep. Yeah. And I think, like, weird. teenagers' clocks are really different than yeah. adults or younger kids. They are, yeah. It was weird, like, for this few, for these few months, I would always, like, wake up and then stay up. Let's just say I wake up at... I go to sleep at 10. The next night, I wake up an hour later, and I go to sleep at 11. I, I kept doing that. Then I was waking up at 9 at night and staying up all mm -hmm. night till sunrise and going to sleep then. And I, it kept going around... And I'm trying to get up right at sunrise. Yeah, so. I mean, I think that's a natural rhythm for sleep. Yeah. For sure. So you just kind of go with the flow when you're tired. And, mm -hmm. But it just happens to be later for teens, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, going to bed at 4 a.m. is well, not common. Because we common. all stay up that late. We, and we all just... Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I know at unschooling yeah. conferences, you guys are up all night. Yeah. I was up for three days straight once. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Can't do it. I, I passed out. <clears throat> literally. Oh gosh. That was awesome. <laughs> nice. So let's talk a little bit about... Um, media in general, mm -hmm. uh, media restrictions. Have you guys always been able to watch whatever you wanted to watch on TV? Yeah. yeah and I, um, so. I don't watch a lot of TV. It's mostly How I Met Your Mother and survival shows. <laughs> That's what you're into right now. Yeah. yeah. I think that, um, again, it's really similar to any kind of idea surrounding a child in control, but parents think that if their children has the freedom that they're going to want to watch ultra violence and sex. Mm -hmm. And one thing I like to tell parents is that you guys have the freedom to watch whatever you want. You're not going to watch anything you're not ready for that you're, that isn't in your, at your level yeah. of... I think I learned most things through TV. Like, I got a lot of inspiration <clears throat> and ideas, and, like, I was like, oh, I want to do that, and I would go do it just by watching it on TV, so that was always really fun. I like mm. horror movies, too. Those are always oh, a good time. horror movies. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to make you, to tie you to a chair and make you watch all of them. I like romantic comedies. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to say that TV is a window to the world. Yeah. You know, a lot of people that are unschooling are coming from a naturally minded, you know, natural parenting filter. And a lot of the propaganda out there for that, you know, community is really anti-TV. Saying that it's going to, like, make you want to be violent if you play violent video mm -hmm. games or watch yeah. violence. If anything, playing violent video games lets your anger out. Like, <clears throat> if, if it's all building up inside of you, you're going to let it out in the real world if you're not allowed to play violent games. I don't even like video games that much. Like, I don't either. I play Just Dance. I can control Just Dance. my... <laughs> oh my god, Just Dance. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, yeah you're pretty good. You got some moves. We'll have to do a video with you guys doing Just Dance. <laughs> <laughs> or we could not. We could just stay here and I think do this. people want to see it, Devin. Or we could not. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, again, is there anything else you guys want to add about media before we wind it up here? Well... Uh, well, I've learned a lot from it, you know, like a, a lot of stuff that I know, a lot from YouTube, and I've been able to talk to a lot of, to I've learned how to type a lot, and um, I got into a relationship online, and we're still together. Mm -hmm. Seven months. Oh, yeah, Destiny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Destiny. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, if it wasn't for Skype and you having the freedom to be able to connect with her in the way that you want, then, you know, you wouldn't be able to nurture this relationship, and I think it's great. And that's one thing, another whole series of videos that I really want to share about is how, you know, having a teenager, how I've, you know, support Devin's relationship with his girlfriend and how we nurture that, just like it's any other interest or passion in his life. We support and nurture and encourage his relationship with Destiny. She's an awesome girl. She's unschooled. She lives in Texas, and... um 
We're happy to share. Maybe we'll Skype her in sometime and do yeah, like an interview with the two of you. That or would be we'll really cool. Fly her in and make her live here. <laughs> I, I would be <laughs> totally down for that. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Well, be sure to send us your questions, and um, you can even ask a specific question to either Devin or Riley, and they're happy to answer. So, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.